Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, is Deron here? Uh, the the following video. Um, I just wanna I just wanna preface it on this uh, video. Um, it's 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 containing uh, actual factual factual statements um, involving Islam. Uh, my opinion about Islam from just doing my research that I have conducted about Islam. And to be honest with you, I have an extensive history of debating Muslims. Okay. Because I um, I want to uh, you know build the context so you guys will not just think that I'm just attacking I'm attacking Islam out of ignorance or anything like that. And the reason why I uh, decided to preface it is because of this too. Now I, I wanted to do the video over, but there's some key points that I made in the video, and so that's why I, I do not want to do the video over. And I like to make videos in real time and to do everything so it's completely genuine so I don't like to have a script or anything like that I just like for everything to come from the heart or from just you know you know uh, from my mind on top of my uh, on top on top of my brain you know whatever and <laughs> here's the thing is that my laptop sometimes the fan runs really loud so I just want to say before we get into the video that there's going to be parts of the video, okay, and it's periodically, it happens periodically, that my fan goes off of my laptop and it gets loud. So please just try to ignore the fan, okay? Ignore the fan and please just listen to the video. And um, I highly suggest that if you don't believe what I'm, what I'm actually saying, don't take my word for it, okay? First of all, don't take my word for it. Look into these things yourself, okay? That's the thing. I want people to be informed, not to be misinformed and then based your opinion off of a missed informed position that is what's so wrong in today's society today especially with the liberals okay the leftist uh, movement with their propaganda and all this crap everything is not based on fact uh, is just based off just sheer pure emotion and I believe that's something that's wrong um, so I hope you guys like my video all right bye bye how is everyone doing it is Deron again I have 10 minutes okay so I'm going to dive right into this. This video is directed to the people who are misinformed or who are completely ignorant about Islam. OK, first of all, for the record, Islam does not mean peace. It means submission. For 1400 years, Islam has been at war with Christians, Jews, non-Muslims. OK, period. Islam has never been, period, at any moment ever since its creation, ever since its start and its rise, okay? Islam is completely inimical towards progression. It is completely oppressive and it subjugates its members, okay, or victims, okay? Even Muslims themselves are a, they're victims of Islam. Islam does not mean peace. There are over 109 kill swords in the Quran and the Hadith, even the Saudi al bukhari you if you use that to interpret the Quran, because you need the Hadith to interpret the Quran, because the Quran is not written in chronological order. You have the Mecca and you have the Medina, okay, surahs or parts of the Quran. Now, as we are witnessing post 9-11, there has been close to 29,000 terrorist attacks. Terrorist attacks, 29,000 since 9-11. No one can keep track of how many terrorist attacks they have that have actually uh, uh, have, you know, have had ever since the creation of Islam, which was just started by Muhammad. Now, there's only one interpretation of Islam, but Muslims would tell you that there's only one Quran that's incorrect, that's completely incorrect. There's over 26 different Qurans, okay? Now, I dare someone to refute me on what I'm saying about Islam. As I said before, this video is directed to those, those liberal-minded, bleeding, hard, leftist people that like to start propaganda. And they like to say that you, you're, you're racist. First of all, Islam is religion. It's not a race, okay? They say that you're a bigot because... We, like people like myself, because we studied the Quran, we studied Islamic history, we studied the life of Muhammad, and if you want to know all about Islam, all you have to do is purchase, okay, 
purchase, get a copy of it, or whatever, somehow, okay, I don't care how you how you get your hands on it, the Prophet of Doom. If you want to know a lot about Islam, get the Prophet of Doom. But you can learn a lot about Islam just from even hearing debates. Actually, listen to the so-called radicals. That they Listen to them. They tell you the true interpretation of Islam. They are not committing taqiyya, which a lot of Muslims do that. They have the right to lie. If anything makes Islam look bad, they have the right to lie to you about it, okay? And it's called taqiyya, and they practice it. How is this the religion of peace? And they have, under Sharia law, under Sharia law, they have shirk, okay? You cannot commit shirk. What this is, is that if you are of a different religion from Islam, you have to ask permission to build a church, a synagogue, temple, etc., okay? Under Sharia law, you are treated as a second-class citizen. You do not have the same rights as a Muslim does, okay? And they control every aspect of your life. It's Islamic jurisprudence, okay? There's no separation between church and state. It is nothing but theocracy. Not, not a democracy, but theocracy. That's what it is. And it is in the most savage, heinous form, Sharia law. Women do not have rights. Women are treated as commodity. But that's a completely different subject on its own entirety. <sighs> to my bleeding hard liberal friends who are with this PC movement, okay, please get a grip on reality. Here, let me, let me pull up some facts here. So, <laughs> Islamic terror on Christians. This is just Christians alone, okay? This is post 9-11 and as you can see right here 8-2-2016 this is, this is just attacks on Christian these are Christians that have been killed and then this side is for those who have been injured and then here's the city and the country and the date and the description now I'm gonna scroll down this list and then let's look how long this list is your so-called religion of peace okay I'm going to scroll and I'm going to keep my finger on this. Now I want you to watch how long this list is. Look how big those numbers are. Look how many attacks there actually is just right here. And this is just only on Christians. Now, I forgot which one is it. I forgot either it's the Christians who are the most persecuted by uh, Muslims or it's either Hindus. It's one of them. But the thing is, Muslims persecute anyone that's not Muslim. I can't stand it when you get these liberal-minded people or people who, fa who fail to face facts, okay? They don't want to face reality. They don't want to face the truth. They want to sugarcoat everything. They want to pander to Muslims, okay? These people, they always say, well, you know, uh, you can't demonize an entire complete religion. Look at this list right here to my left. And you mean to tell me this is the religion of peace and I cannot demonize a this religion that actually that condones killing of non-Muslims? They have over 109 kill sores in the Quran and you read the Hadiths and even in the Hadiths, the Hadiths are extremely violent. The history of Islam has always been violent. You are not going to change it, Mr. Liberal, okay, because you want to have a bleeding heart for the Muslims and you want to pander to them. Everywhere Muslims go, let's take Germany for an example, let's take Great Britain for an example, let's take France for an example, let's take Wales for an example, let's take Poland for an example, let's take Canada for an example. Everywhere Islam goes, they refuse to assimilate, and they are telling the truth. When they tell you that they are going to take your country over, and there would be only one religion, and it would be of Allah, it would be Islam, and they scream, Allah Akbar, okay? They say God is good or whatever, you know? These people are serious. They're not playing with you. That is the truest form of Islam. ISIS is the truest form of Islam. There's only one interpretation of Islam, even though there are more than one type of Quran of Islam, but it's still one interpretation of Islam. Every Muslim, they are called, if you're able-bodied, now the list just stopped. The list just stopped. And you mean to tell me Islam's religion peace. But anyway, any Muslim that is called when there's a jihad, okay? Jihad can be spiritual, it can be physical, and it can also be political. Muslims use every strategic war. And the Quran actually 
gives them the right to use every strategic of war and every able-bodied Muslim has to fight in a jihad. And if they don't, they are considered to be hypocrites. This religion of peace, you can join it, but if you leave it, you're killed. You can even ask questions when you are a Muslim. Look how the women are completely subjugated. They're treated as a commodity. They're only used for breeding. Then they want to emula emulate Muhammad. Muhammad was a savage. He was not a prophet. He never prophesied one thing in his life. And you wonder why Muslims kill non-Muslims and they also kill Muslims. If you study the history of Islam, Islam kills their own and they also kill non-Muslims. They have been this way for 1400 years. You're not going to change it. The only way you're going to change Islam is if you change the Quran. Okay? I'm so sick of all these bleeding hearted people talking about, well, let's welcome more Muslims into the United States. Let's welcome more Muslims into our country. Look at what the Muslims are doing that are already there in the country. They refuse to assimilate and they preach hate. They preach non-tolerance and they Oh my, oh my goodness. What do you have, like, what, what has to happen for you to get a grasp on reality? For you to wake up and say, you know what? I do love you. If you really care about a person, you're going to tell the person the truth. You cannot argue with facts. You can't. And if you try to argue with facts, you are completely, completely insane. West, we need to wake up. The complete West, we need to wake up. This is a battle of civilizations, okay? We have an inimical, savage, barbaric ideology that wishes to bring everyone under its rule and to subjugate its subjects. People, you need to wake up. Islam, there's no love in Islam, okay? There's not even one mention of love in that Quran for Allah towards Muslims, okay? If you study the history of Islam, it it's, it's completely just distorted. It doesn't make any sense, okay? It doesn't make any sense. It contradicts itself over and over and over and over and over and over again. You can tell Muhammad didn't, had no idea what he's talking about. There is no Allah. Muhammad created Allah. Anyway, this is Duran signing off. I love the West.